Many patients at my practice present with a history of recurrent pregnancy loss and some have a history of autoimmune disease associated with this recurrent pregnancy loss. Many of these patients, surprisingly, are not immediately referred to our center as there is still a grave misconception as to the contribution of autoimmune disease to the process of recurrent pregnancy loss. It's important to understand that the same mechanism that each organ in the body must use to protect itself from the maternal immune system are the same mechanisms that an embryo must use to create immune tolerance for itself. So it's logical that when there's a breakdown in the mother's own immune system to the point where it's attacking her own organs, her own blood vessels, that it's more than likely that the embryo is going to have a problem protecting itself from the maternal immune system. Our patients uh, present here with issues that can be addressed and usually uh, these issues can be treated successfully. Most immune disorders that we see here can usually be broken down into two varieties. Uh, some are antibody mediated, the most common uh, being systemic lupus, and some are driven by inflammatory chemicals called cytokines that drive blood cells to attack different organs. Uh, the most common of these are Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, and even rheumatoid arthritis. Well, the mechanisms of how these different autoimmune diseases attack the embryo are clearly different. In the end, they all seem to have similar effects on causing repetitive pregnancy loss. So, at my practice, we understand how each of these autoimmune diseases interacts with the embryo's mechanism of trying to create immune tolerance for itself and we've tailored specific treatments for each of these syndromes with great success. If you've been told that your autoimmune disease is not playing a part in your recurrent pregnancy loss because the disease itself is not active or you only have a mild form of the disease, this really doesn't matter. Whatever the immune defect is that's causing the body to attack its own organs, that defect is always going to be present and it's going to prevent the embryo from developing its immune tolerance. So it's important to get the proper treatments not only early in the pregnancy to allow normal implantation of the embryo and the placenta, but these treatments many times in patients with autoimmune disease must be carried out throughout the entire pregnancy in order to prevent late pregnancy complications such as placental abruption, intrauterine growth retardation, and even in some cases stillbirth.